number one gun I'm gonna just work for the rain He's fucking fucked up, let me slip in the game He's fucking fucked up, she went to her brain She know I'm gonna be so mad Oh, what's up guys, it's OP Mombo, so in this video, we're going to be talking about why I think EX characters might not be worth it anymore, um, so it's a very interesting video that I wanted to do for a little bit, but you know, YouTube was hating on me, so I couldn't upload or anything, uh, but, yeah, basically, uh, EX characters might not be worth it anymore, um, so I got some, you know, some notes are written down and stuff like that so i'm gonna be explaining talking about it um so yeah but at the end of the day to be honest even if i make this video people are still gonna pull for it so you no know, me honestly i don't care go for whatever character you like or use whatever you like i don't care honestly it's your game you can do whatever you want um but yeah let's get into it so number one i have the reason is the cost of the ex characters are getting crazier um so g5 is i think around 4000 gems which is insane bro that's insane you have to save like almost ha half or most of the year to get that much gems and uh i think ex Zero was also 3k rainbow diamonds so yeah that's like insane amount bro back in the day the first ex's were like what 750 what 750 i think so yeah so same as the bounty fest nowadays um so yeah uh, the the prices of these EXs are like insane, bro. Four thousand gems, bro, for one unit. It's like crazy talk, like bro. And you know how long it takes to save much, like that much gems, bro. It takes your whole lifetime, bro. Like, swear, like the cost is crazier. And fifth, any, bro. I won't be surprised if uh, the the EX will be like uh 4.5k or even 5k like bro i won't be shocked honestly because every any like the prices just keep on increasing it keep on increasing i think last anniversary uh wait last anniversary wait the well Luffy was not even guaranteed so but basically you know what i'm saying like each anniversary the prices are just increasing every time you know luffy g5 is 4000 this time fifth annie probably 4.2 or 4.5 um zoro was 3k so like it's it's insane bro um so yeah the number one is the cost of these uh ex characters as a number two um so this is like kind of um on the cost i guess you would say but number two is like you might get a better ex for like a cheaper price for example ex big mom came out before zoro she is around like 1.9k gems and uh zoro cost 3k gems but big mom was better overall like uh we all know this i mean zoro is also good but i think big mom was we are we definitely know that big mom was the better character overall um so like you know sometimes it's like this uh cheaper ex's that the ex's that comes cheap might be better than the main one like um this is my opinion only okay so like uh, i feel like claw is like more fun and overall better to use than g5 i don't know g5 is just so boring and um i don't know maybe i just don't like defenders but uh, for me personally i like claw better um, and Claw was cheaper than G5. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's uh, better to go for the cheaper one, like I could say, um, like Big Mom 1.8K while Zoro cost 3K. Like, bro, the, the price difference is crazy. And Big Mom was like way better. And she is still pretty good and still usable. So yeah, sometimes you just have to uh, put your head down and just go for the cheaper one, you know? All right, so number three is, um, the bounty first characters are made to count a new ex right that costs crazy like the ex is like luffy that costs 4000 gems uh for example we have a new king v2 king that counters luffy and stuff so like um like it's crazy not even one week not even one week and uh there's already counters like pacific for the character that costs 3k gems that's insane to me and the the bounty fest that like supposed to counter them their skills and traits are almost the same like or not some of them are even better than the ex's like bro like it's insane so what's even the point of going for these ex's um so yeah man like the bounty fest characters are made legit to counter them like uh one week even one week like one week or one month there's already a bounty fest that's gonna be countering them so basically say you waste uh 4k 4 000 gems for g5 right and king v2 comes out and queen and you just get shitted on and you waste all them gems while you, sh you could have just gone for king and queen so yeah it's, it's just crazy 
Um, so number four is a bounty for us character just called 750 gems, and you could get like more copies. As a reminder, actually, you, for 750, right? You could get both of the copies, like one, two. Then you can get even more copies. So like, uh, you know what I mean? And you should get both new characters under 750 gems. All of the EX to do summon for like 3k gems and only one characters so like for 750 you could get two characters and more extra copies while for ex you could get only maybe one for 3k gems so that like that's legit a fraud bro all right so <clears throat> all right the fifth uh reason i have is uh this is kind of basic most people should know but still all right number five EXs are hard to level up and beside fragging up like uh using your frags with bounty fest or easier to level up because of the bounty ship bounty fest shop i mean it is pay to win uh for the shop I and mean, you have to basically pay but um you know it's still a feature that allows you to level up your character quicker for ex you can't even buy their frags or anything so you just you have to use your golden fragments uh for bounty fest you go you know uh, have the shop and get the character frags daily and level them up like that um or just use your frags if you're a whale so yeah number five was pretty you know almost everyone knows but still all right so number six and uh, i think this is my last reason so i don't know if it's, this is true but i don't know I, me personally i feel like it uh i feel like boundfest tickets have like better rates uh i don't know if it does uh, i didn't look into it to be honest i should have but um but yeah i feel like boundfest tickets that you can like buy uh, those cost like 45 I have like uh, better rates than EXs. I don't know, bro. E if you get EXs, them shits are complete shaft, bro. Like on the claw, on the claw, EX claw, um, and tickets, bro. I got a complete shafted, bro. Like that shows a huge scam. And I think on the last one, maybe I got it. I don't know how, but um, but yeah, uh, those tickets are like complete scams, bro. Uh, also, Boundless tickets are also a scam because you know, I see people getting shafted on them, but. Like overall, I mean, uh, I feel like uh, Boundless tickets are way better than EXs because my personal like experience, EX tickets are complete shit. Boundless tickets, I actually had some luck when I uh, got one. So yeah, but I think that's like all the reason why I feel like EXs are not worth it anymore. Um, I have some solid ideas in there, you know, some are kind of eh, whatever, but still solid overall. So my main point is like, you're basically paying for a character like around 3k 4k um that gets a counter in almost one week or one month and um for the next what like six months until the big one comes out the ak the next ex and uh the next anniversary that completely completely like uh counters him um so in this case is let's say like g5 um so in fifth annie we're gonna get another ex that completely counters him so he's gonna be you know suffering a little bit he's gonna be usable but of course he's gonna be suffering but uh, the other thing is like bonfest characters are cheaper 750 you could get both for EXs. you can only get one um for like 3k or 4k so like you basically understand it's more expensive um while well, you can get uh, cheaper characters for 750 and more um so yeah man overall i feel like ex's characters like are like they're still worth it because you know they they're like crazy power um but at the same time for, like when i look at all these like details and shaft like they're not worth it but you know uh it is what it is at the end of the day i know people are still summon so it is what it is and i will too because you know and me personally i mean i will not summon but you know my favorite character are always EXs, so like I'm kind of stuck. So yeah, man. But yeah, man. Uh, that's it for the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Are EXs still worth it to summon for in 2023? Uh, but yeah, man.